Okay, so welcome again. Uh, this is for my macroeconomic classes, and I'll put it in my economics. Um, basically, I'll stick it in my economics uh, module or my YouTube playlist. But, they, but you know, it's, it's the workings of the Federal Reserve, and we know that the Federal Reserve is in charge of monetary policy. So by uh, what they basically do, and it's the most effective way of modulating the economy, and we've talked about it in other texts, in other uh, videos, is that we're looking at um, if we're in an inflationary time, if GDP is growing too fast, then the Federal Reserve wants to uh, raise interest rates and will slow the economy down. And think about how that works. When the Fed raises interest rates, they effectively make you want to keep your money in the bank as opposed to investing in businesses or the stock market. Right. It's logical. You know, right? interest rates are higher. People are going to want to borrow less money to buy cars and houses. They may buy a house and a car, but they'll buy less house and a car. So the economy doesn't grow as quickly. So the monetary policy and then when the economy is in a recession, like we went through after 2008. Well, now we've seen that the Fed tries to keep rates lower. So they encourage people to invest and start new businesses and things like that, because that's what gets the economy going. That's how we pay taxes. That's how people get jobs, and the best way to get an economy going using Keynesian economics, John Maynard Keynes, is to lower interest rates. So the Federal Reserve is at the top of this pyramid, and they have the Board of Governors, which is the uh, governors of each region, and we'll talk, we talked about that in previous uh, videos. And then you have the, the Reserve Banks. So the governors and the Reserve Banks kind of go together, and they watch the different... Um, regions in the economy but what i want to talk about today and you can get that in previous videos but what i want to talk about today is the open market committee because it's the open com market committee that's basically the trading desk of the fed so when the fed gives the open market committee an order they will conduct the nation's monetary policy and what does that mean what, is, what does it mean that they trade what, how does the fed trade well when the government needs to buy bonds when the government needs to borrow money Right. If they spend more than they're taking in in taxes, they need to borrow money. And the way the government does that is through the Fed, which is the central bank. They will sell. They will um, to con to control in, uh, a recession. What they'll do is they will um, buy back bonds. Well, let's start with the inflation. Economy is growing too. The economy is growing too quick, and the and the Fed wants to uh, slow it down. Well, effectively, what the Fed does when they need to borrow money is they sell bonds. Effectively, what they do is they borrow money from people by issuing bonds, which are basically tradable loans. No different than any other loan. It's a tradable loan. It's a treasury bill, a treasury bond. Depending on the length, it's either a bond or a bill. If it's 10, 5, 10, 30 years, it'll be a bond. If it's less, it'll be a bill. But, but in order to control, so, so what the Fed will do is, the, the Open Market Committee, is when they want to uh, borrow money, they will sell these bonds to the public, and the public will give them the cash. And, 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 and in effect, they're borrowing money from the gov They're borrowing money from the people, or from the banks. And you know, when they borrow money from banks or they borrow money from insurance companies, whoever buys them, it's basically our money backing that. Because think about it: why would it, where does an insurance company get their money? They get it from the premiums we pay, right? And then they invest them, and then they pay out when people need, when people have a liability, you know, a car accident or a life insurance. Uh, property damage, but they invest that money. So it's basically our money they're investing. Or if you put your money in a 401k or buy a mutual fund or get it swept in a bank account, the, 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 the institutions, the intermediaries are investing, but effectively they're investing our money. That's where they're getting most of the money. Uh, some of it is corporations, but a lot of it is personal money. So, um, so now you get the idea. When the Fed wants to um, borrow money, they'll sell the bonds and take cash in. And when they... Um, and, and, and that also acts as a way to control inflation. And how does that work? Well, look at this. The, the, the Fed will sell bonds to these banks or intermediaries or individuals. And, the, and, and we will, the interest rates will go up because in order for people to want to buy these bonds, the Fed has to offer higher and higher interest rates. It's a classic supply demand problem. The higher the interest rate, the more you'll want to buy these bonds and keep the money out of the economy and put it in a bank or in the bonds themselves. So, you know, the banks will pay higher interest and the government effectively pays higher interest. And the government is actually the safest investment because the U.S. government is the safest investment on earth, given our military power and our, and our infrastructure. 
But uh, also, banks are very safe, and a lot of AAA companies like Coca-Cola and IBM are very safe. So interest rates go higher. But as interest, so the bonds get sold to these banks, interest rates go up, and then what happens is when the interest rates go up, it slows the economy down. So it all, it's not just a way for the, for the government to borrow money, but through open market operations, it would be a way to slow the economy down and control inflationary pressures. So again, when they want to control inflationary pressures, they sell these bonds to the banks, and in turn, the individuals or the companies or the insurance companies will buy these bonds, and they will raise interest rates because the more bonds that the government wants to sell, the higher the interest rate has to go. So that kind of gives you an idea of how the open market committee acts. So when the when the open when the Fed actually wants to slow the economy down, they will sell more bonds to the public and take cash out of the economy. And on the other side, when we have a recession like we experienced after 2008, and the government actually wants to lower interest rates to get the economy moving, well then what they'll do is sell they'll they'll buy these bonds back from the public. And when they buy these bonds back, and I'll get into the math in another um, video, and we'll do present value assumptions. But going through some of my other bond videos, we know that if the government if the, if the if the government wants to buy back these bonds, they have to offer better and better prices to the traders or to the banks. If if you bought the bond at a hundred or a thousand dollars per bond, and the government turns around and says, we'll pay you uh, $1,100, there's a, there's an encouragement for you to make a profit and sell it back to them. But the higher price means that the interest rate is lower. And you remember that from our present value calculations. Interest rates are lower because now the bond, the government is buying back these bonds. And so they're, ra they're lowering interest rates, they're raising the prices of bonds. So the bonds go back into the central bank and and, and, cash, and, and cash goes into the into the economy, and now more cash is available. So the banks, in order to get rid of that cash or to make a spread on that cash, because how does a bank make money? They take your deposit and they lend out the money through mortgages, car loans, business loans. They have to lower interest rates. And the lower interest rates spurs the economy, encourages investments in stocks through margin uh, loans. In, um, in, in, in companies because people don't want to leave their money in the bank so they start a company or they invest in companies. So you start to see the basics behind central bank and open market operations. So once again, to recap, when the, open, when the, when the Federal Reserve through the open market committee wants to slow the economy down because they're worried about inflation and that the economy is going too fast, they will sell bonds or effectively borrow money and take cash out of the market. And given the inverse relationship, when the more bonds they want to sell, the higher interest rates they have to offer the public or the investors, and that will raise interest rates and slow the economy down, high interest rates. When they want to get the economy going, like we're experiencing now, they will, they will buy bonds back at higher prices, and the higher prices imply lower interest rates and low interest rate. And the basic thing you want to take away from this, even if you don't want to be a financial economic uh, genius, what you want to know is that when rates are low, people will invest in stocks and companies, buy more house, buy more car, buy more things on credit because rates are low. And when they want to slow the economy down, they will borrow money, crowd out the, the normal investor by borrowing money and raising interest rates. And what they'll do effectively is slow the economy down. So that's the basics. We'll have more videos. Go to my economics and my finance channel, and a lot of this will be here. But that's the basics, and we'll talk more. Thank you.